Hey guys, Mercifies here. Back here in the uh, second lesson. And uh, we're going to create another object today, a little bit more complex than the first object. Obviously, you can see uh, it has a material this time, so as I move the object, you can see uh, a couple different, you know, a background image. Uh, apparently, it's a parking lot. And uh, yeah, so we're going to create this object uh, in Maya, and then I'm going to show you how to create a new material and also how to go ahead and uh, look at the do do that. look at the uh, current uh, volume of it. The volume will never change um, even if you change the material. So let's go ahead and go back in, create a new part. All right. And we're going to create a. Uh, there's a couple different ways to make this object. I'm going to show you the way I like to do it, which is the fastest way, I think, and the easiest way. And then I'm going to show you the other way, which is called the box effect. This is uh, a little bit easier for people that kind of struggle at this current stage. So we're going to go ahead and create a box. It doesn't matter what the dimensions are, we're not worrying yet. We're going to create the dimensions of. going to have the dimensions of 0.5, sorry, 0.75, and this dimension is going to be 2. Yep. Um, if I kind of blank out like I just did, I wasn't blanking out actually, I was looking at a sheet that I have that has all the dimensions on it. Um, and I don't have them deciphered into size, so I'm just looking at, uh, you know, what I had, 8 divided by 4. And uh, the first, this side right here, I could not find, um, I could not find the dimensions I wrote, so I had to count it out. So, um, anyway, so we've got these dimensions down, so I'm going to hit done, and we're going to delete this dimension because we don't need it, and we're going to delete this dimension as well. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create the two stubby legs. So we'll create this one, and we'll create this one. And we're going to put the dimensions on these ones as well. They should be 0.25 by 0.25. Wow, look at that. Oh, this one's off. 0.25. All right, now that we have the uh, stubby little legs down, the next thing we got to do is get the top. So we're going to go in going like this far it looks pretty good that's good enough um, again we're going to dimension it out so it won't matter it should be uh, point point five um, this dimension is going to be one Yep, it's going to be 1. And uh, then we need to check that it's evenly in the middle. So I'm going to click on this dot, click on this dot, bring it up. That should be 0.5. Now, seeing we've changed uh, this dimension, that means it's automatically changed on this side as well. So if we check this side, it's 0.5 as you can see. So, um, now that we have the object created, we now need to go into model and extrude it. So we're going to go up to the corner again. And this is actually going to be, well, well first of all, let's go back to the front. We need to uh, go ahead and click on where we're going to extrude. So cancel. All right. Now you can see these faces are showing up, the red faces. They, uh, they click. They uh, show each individual box. Click on each of these faces in the front view, of course. And then go up to the uh, top, right, top right front view and you'll see uh, all the sides are clipped. Uh, the dimensions are 5 divided by 4 which is equivalent to like 1.25. So there we go. We have our object at 1.25 uh, inches or yeah 
it's been extruded 1.25 inches so that's how the depth is 1.25 inches now obviously you can see that this is a blank thing we can't see any cars in the background so we're gonna go ahead and edit the properties um, so we're gonna go up to the pro I pro go down to I properties you're gonna go over to physical and hit update you should have a volume of 2.656 um, inches you know whatever all that other crap but 2.2 2.656 inches um, as the volume don't worry about the cube and all the relative percentage and stuff just make sure that 2.656 inches is correct now if you go up to material you have all these different materials that you can use the material I used last was the thermoplastic resin so we're gonna go ahead and apply that material and hit close as you can see the parking lot is in the background and when we go up to eye properties to uh, look at the um, volume the volume has not changed the mass and stuff will as you can see the mass has just changed the area right now or the mass is 0.753 when I change it to steel 0.754 but the volume stays the same so that is one thing you should know about creating a product every product no matter what the material is will have the same volume alright guys so that was uh... this that was today's um, lesson video um, oh i'm not done yet cancel i need to go ahead and create it the other way i'll show you the other way um, for all of you kids that are struggling out there, I wouldn't, just, I wouldn't really say kids, but everybody that's struggling. Oops. And we're going to go ahead and just create a ginormous box. Now, the dimensions on this box should be they should be, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, four, one. Two, three, four, five. Five divided by four. And the width should be ten divided by four. Alright, so there we go. There's our box. Um, and that's gonna be that's the total box that we're going to have for the uh, object. Okay, now we're gonna create a rectangle inside of this box make it like this big and we're gonna go ahead and uh, find we can go ahead and delete the dimensions of these two dimensions and then we're gonna go ahead and find the dimensions so uh, I don't need that so we're gonna see how far away this is 0 0.251 that's pretty darn that's pretty darn good I'm gonna change it to 0.25 though and then we also need to get the dimension of this, which should be 0.5. Oh, okay. No, nope, it should be 0.75. I screwed up the last object, but that's okay. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we're just gonna we're creating our own object. Um, I guess the sheet's not really there, but anyway. Um, so. Now we are going to uh, create a rectangle on this side, and let's make it, yeah, let's make it like this big. And then we're going to get the dimensions. Click on this line. Click on this line. Make sure it is 0.25, and then do the same for this side. Great. Now that we have these dimensions down. We're gonna go ahead and trim this object up. So, delete these dimensions. And then we're gonna go up to the trim tool or X and trim this uh, line. Trim both of those, there should be two. And then you're going to, um, yeah, that's all we're trimming so far. So we'll hit done. And then we have to create our next rectangle. Let's make it like this big that looks pretty good get the dimensions five exactly look at that 
uh, you should be 0.5 and there we go I need to you should be 1 no I did something wrong very wrong I'm just going to go with it. It's four inches. Alright, I got that right, got that right. And I don't know why this is... How long is this, damn it? 0.25. It's 8 divided by... Should be... Uh... Oh, that's why. I was off. Sorry, guys. That should be 8 divided by 4, it should be, uh, yeah. So I kind of screwed up on that. Again, this is why I don't really like this technique, the box technique. It's kind of, uh, what's the word? Annoying, but you get the idea. Um, so what you would do is you basically you just create, uh, crap. You create a box. Um, and then you just create boxes inside of that and you just trim it down. So that's how you do the box technique. Some people find that easier. I find it uh, more difficult and just takes longer. So that's why I don't use it and I'm not going to use it in any of the tutorials unless it really requires for it. Um, so there you go guys. Uh, <laughs> I kind of failed on the, this, the box technique again. I never really did the box, te box technique. But anyway, that was the uh, lesson for today. Next lesson is going to be a... Uh, let's see what object I want to do. Ooh, yeah, let's do this object. We're going to do a much harder... Well, I wouldn't say much harder, but a harder object. And we're going to introduce some uh, new um, tools. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Mercivize.